Hello everyone and welcome back to Newfoundland. We're at the Riverwood House and Cottages and I'm here with Lloyd. Now Lloyd, you've got a really nice facility here with an incredible view and I'd like you to, you know, sort of tell our audience a little bit about the rooms and, and what you have available and, you know, the, the sort of things that they can stay at. Well, the house is a four bedroom house and it has, it is fully furnished, it's an efficiency unit. We have two two bedroom cottages and they are fully equipped efficiency units and two one bedroom cottages that are also fully equipped. We have high speed internet and of course cable. Great. What, generally what people expect today. So pretty much if you came with a family or if you came with a couple or you know just uh, even just a couple people together you, you can kind of you know put them in, in a room configuration that would work for them. So now let's say you know they've come everything's provided they just you know Back the, back the car in, unload the bags, enjoy themselves, spend a couple days. What would they do once they're here? Well, one of the things they could do if they're, if they're interested in salmon fishing, we have uh, about 14 salmon rivers within an hour's drive. So if they arrive early in the season, then uh, with, the, with a good guide, they can certainly have a, a number of enjoyable days on, on their selection of salmon rivers. Okay, great. And so let's go a little later in this, into the summer then. What are people doing and where are they going? Well, generally people like to walk. So we're five minutes from the beach. There's a beautiful walking trail here. and take you down to the beach and walk you around through the woods. We're about uh, five minutes from the Newfoundland Trailway, which is a multi-use trail. And we have lots of people who visit uh, and stay with us on their ATVs. I guess it's just 500 meters from the railhead. Okay, and, and you did mention something about this ATV trail. Well, that's the, uh, well, because the Newfoundland Trailway is a multi-use trail, uh, it's uh, open to users of ATVs, snowmobiles, uh, dog sledding, well, biking is not really a good idea. Bicycle is, it's a little rough for bicycles, okay. but certainly, uh, and a little rough for equestrian. Uh, but in, in selected parts, it's certainly okay. suitable for that. And it is, uh, you know, does it go right across the island? It goes right across. It follows the old uh, Newfie Bullet rail line. Okay, yeah, I've heard of that one. Now, uh, in, in terms of day trips, you know, if they want to get out and drive three, four, five hours one direction or another, where could they go? Well, they could certainly do the French Ancestry route, uh, and that will take, a, take in a day and, and tour the Port Port Peninsula, a beautiful area. Uh, they could do the uh, day trip to the Grand Codroy uh, estuary, which is a uh, Ramsar site for uh, birds and so on. They could take a day and at the bird sanctuary at the crossing, uh, if you're into bird watching. And uh, of course, the scenery is just unbelievable. There's Black Bank Beach, uh, wonderful sand, beautiful in the summertime, good place to swim Great. in the ocean. Wow. So there's something that probably people didn't know. You could swim here in the ocean at the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'd like you really to thank you for taking the time and talking to our audience, Lloyd. And we hope to see everyone out here at the Riverwood House and Cottages. Great, thank you.